All right, you guys, so what is going on? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is a big vlog for me. Basically today we are heading up to Tampa and we are going to be rebuilding the wheels, finally. The lips, the barrels, every, everything is here because the only thing that we're taking from, uh, from, from my old setup is the faces and we're gonna end up uh, painting those. Not in this vlog, but basically we're just gonna end up uh, ditching the barrels and the old lips. Um, I might sell the lips, so if anybody wants uh, one or two inch lips, I believe, uh, definitely beg my line hit, hit me up on a uh, Instagram Facebook or whichever if you guys are interested in a uh, one or two inch lips I'll remember what size the lips are later on in the vlog. All right heading up to Tampa now. Um, I got everything loaded up uh, We're gonna meet up with uh We're gonna meet up with Nick Fargo, but um, the one thing is that he actually he actually had like something happen to his hand at work so Basically, I'm gonna be rebuilding the wheels myself But he's gonna be like teaching me like step by step like what's the next step to do do a little more of this do less of that so basically he's Basically, I'm going to be his hands. So I, I think it's also pretty cool because it's also going to be a learning experience for me on how to learn how to rebuild wheels and stuff like that. So I think that's definitely going to be pretty cool. And the reason that we're that we're using my phone right now is because the camera is actually already uh, loaded up. Nick actually preferred to not be on camera or whatever because I because I'm not I'm not sure if it was just or, uh, camera shy or whatever. But he did say that we can do like a whole like time lapse everything. So. So basically, I'm going to be breaking apart the wheels and, and putting them back together just that you're going to see it being done in like 30 seconds. So kind of like how we did with the windshield with the Civic, kind of like whenever we replace the windshield, we're going to be doing the exact same thing with the wheels. Now, I'm only going to be doing a time lapse of one wheel just for the fact that we're doing the exact same thing to the other. So it's like an extra piece of content that we don't really need because it's just going to be the same thing over and over. I can literally just copy and paste it if I wanted to. I'm doing way too much talking. We're already two minutes into this video and I haven't even pushed out any content yet. So let's go ahead and make way out to Tampa. So it is it is actually the next day. Um, I didn't I didn't really vlog um, a whole lot of anything is basically uh, once I once I actually came to Tampa or whatever um, Me and Nick basically just kind of like chilled hung out and stuff like that But um <clears throat> basically right now it's about 824 in the morning. So that's why my voice just sounds depressed <laughs> It sounds depressed. It sounds lazy it sounds tired I'm actually gonna be doing the rebuild today um, We're basically gonna be doing like the whole time lapse of breaking everything apart and putting it back together and uh, doing doing all the fun stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, one the reason to why I'm going to uh, rebuild them, and uh, two uh, show you what we're actually gonna be rebuilding them to, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I found out uh, some other really cool stuff that I didn't think that SRR uh, due to the barrels and the lips, so I thought that was really cool. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm in focus or not. It does not look like it. Either I just gotta be a little closer. I'm not sure, but. <laughs> This was the first wheel. We got the tires ripped off. Now, the one thing that I do have to say about it is that I have no idea, I have absolutely no idea who did the sealing on this thing. Look at, look at the seal. I can't really like, I can't really like show you like in the best way, but just like how the seal is just kind of like all over the place. Look at that. <laughs> it's literally all over the place. And then I can actually show you uh, where the inner barrels cracked. These are the ones that I had welded, and they cracked two days after. But like, but like I said in the last vlog, I'm not gonna give the guy's name out to who welded them. But I'm just not gonna have, I'm not gonna personally have have my business with him. But um, I'm not gonna give his name out. I'm not gonna give his business out. I'm not, I'm not the one to put someone on blast or whatever. So that's behind me. We're going on to bigger things. That's that's what happened and that's 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 what happened after the weld um, it did it in that area and then it cracked in this spot as well straight through <sighs> and basically that's just the rest of the inside just dirty so that was one of them and this is the other one like I said the sealants just like everywhere it's not like a thin line or anything. I mean, like, I mean, like, looking in the camera, it looks it looks okay, but like in person, it's like all over the place. 
Because right now on the camera you just see like a solid black line. <laughs> but where is this one at? This this or the welds on this one wasn't wasn't too crazy, but the welds did crack again. They did crack the room a little bit, but so that was that was honestly the main reason why I'm going to be uh, rebuilding them because these are the front wheels. And basically what we're doing is that we're taking the rear wheels since they are wider and we're going to put those up front so I can get rid of the crazy Titanic that I have going on up front so I'll be able to put the rear wheels, bring them up to the front so it'll push them out. So it'll push them out so, so whenever I actually take a picture of the front of the car or whatever, my, my wheels don't stop at my bumper. They'll actually, <laughs> they'll actually start at the top of the fender where they should be. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the barrels. Now the barrels are actually pretty cool because whenever the whenever the barrels came, because they came out of United Kingdom, that's why it took so long to order the lips and the barrels, and then for them to come here to go to New York to go through customs, to go to to go through all that stuff. But this is um, the the six inch barrel for a 16. And what's actually really cool is that they they came brushed. So I think that's definitely really cool. Both both barrels came in brushed. Which is just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so that, that's the good part. These are this is going to be the inner barrel of the wheel. And that's what the other one looks like. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the lips. And then here and here are the lips, which I actually think they did a really good job on the lips. It's just that plastic coating. But I think they did an amazing job on polishing the lips. Super crazy. Uh, the uh, these are the four-inch lips, and then so basically going to a 16 by 10, and it it might it might be a 16 by by 10 and a half um, just for the fact for the size of the face, because I don't I don't have a whole lot of knowledge on wheel rebuilding, but uh, Nick was saying that um, the face actually would count as a as a size or whatever. So basically the faces are probably a half inch so after because because basically with with the uh, with the lip and the barrel together it comes out to a 16 by 10 but with adding the face in it might bring it out to another half you may have to bring it in more good morning good morning <laughs> i'll show them the wheels wheels i'll show them the wheels <laughs> yeah my mom was like you're talking to your, your friends talking to his camera <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, no, no or, or, or I was telling whenever I was going to put the, or whenever we go to put the wheels together, or whatever, how I didn't know that the face would actually like count as... Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, how it might add like a half to it, and I, and I was telling how I may have to like pull like a little bit more camber in. It's like I honestly don't want to pull more camber in, but for, but for, the, for, uh, for how the Civic sits, I like how it sits. I don't, I don't really want to mess with the camber, right? <laughs> or whatever. But if I'm, if I may have to, depending on what the face comes out to be, if it turns out to be like a ten five or whatever, I may have to go from like that negative twelve to like maybe thirteen or just like fourteen. Yeah. Or just like a tiny little tweak. I would. Are your your quarters already rolled and yeah. everything like that? No, yeah, every, every, everything's rolled to the max. <laughs> it's pulled too, I'm like guessing. It's pulled and rolled. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be tight. Man. I can tell you that. <laughs> it's gonna be a super tight fit. So, basically, we're gonna see what that actually comes out to be once we throw once we throw the face in between the lips and the barrels. So we're definitely gonna uh, see how that works. And then uh, Tuesday, we're actually gonna be going to the tire the tire shop. Um, if you guys are in the Ocala area or you're looking for a place for tires, uh, soggy, soggy bottom wholesale tire. That's uh, in Ocala, I believe. I believe they're off of 10th Street or something like that. Today we're basically just uh, rebuilding the wheels, and then uh, probably, probably, probably in the next vlog, um, I'm gonna test fit the wheels uh, once we have the tires on and all that stuff. So for now, we're just gonna be rebuilding the wheels and hoping they will fit. <sighs> <clears throat> so I guess I will get actually get back to you guys uh, once we actually start uh, ripping the wheels apart and stuff. Because right now I still gotta wake up. I still need food, so that's where I'll leave you guys at. All right, guys, and then, and then so now we're starting the breakdown of the wheel, and then we actually can't find the the half drive, so I'm gonna be breaking all this down by hand. 
this is going to be great. So I think that'll be a pretty cool time lapse. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and start uh, break, breaking this wheel off. And then, like I said earlier in the vlog, um, we're basically just going to be uh, uh, doing a time lapse of just the one wheel since we're going to be doing the exact same thing with the other one. So other than that, let's uh, get started and get a, get a workout going. Buy hand workout, bro. <laughs> the hand workout, man. All right, guys, so we finally got all this going on. It's almost like right now we have like an Adele. <laughs> it's almost like we have an Adele concert. <laughs> but um, basically so far, we were, we were able to take off everything. Um, we got everything off of this one. We're coming into an issue with this guy right here. This last bolt is loose but doesn't want to come out. Nick th Nick's thinking it could possibly be cross-threaded. But we're going to get to that one soon, but right now we're focused on this one, and we are actually about to cut the seal. I'm going to zoom in um, a little closer to show you guys what we were talking about, how the, how the seal kind of looked. How, like, the whole seal was kind of, like... Sloppily done. Slop, sloppily done. So, like, the whole thing was kind of just, like, all over the place. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, cut the seal so we can actually get this apart and get ready to do the new stuff so let's go ahead and cut this guy there we go fire in the hole <laughs> All right, guys, so now we do have the faces off, the one-inch lips. I will be selling these lips if anybody is interested in one-inch lips or two-inch. I'm not entirely sure what they are. Got to put them up to a measuring guy. And then we do have the barrels off. Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> Now we got the barrels off, so now it's time to seal these guys. All right, guys, and then so now we are dealing with the face. We have to get, or Nick says that we have to basically make, get all of this old silicone. We basically have to make it 100% clean. So we're going to be taking a good old hand razor, just like a skateboard, just going across it. So this one's going to be another time lapse or whatever, just because it's probably going to take a while. And my is <laughs> still on one battery. So, we're gonna have a really fun time doing this with a razor blade, one step at a time. So, I guess let's get to this uh, time consuming thing. And so now we're able to shave everything off that we needed to. So that's pretty good. I think I came out. So it's not going to be 16 by 10. It's actually going to be 16 by 10, 5. <laughs> this is going to be a wild fit. Guys, so the point that we're at right now is that we got, we got the wheel out. Um, actually coming down to specs, um, the wheel is actually going to be uh, with the face included. It's going to be a 16 by 10.5. So it's gonna be a much bigger, it's gonna be a much bigger of a wheel, much bigger of a stretch. I thought it was gonna be 16 by 10, but it's gonna be 16 by five now. So that's something else that I have to t also take into, take into consideration. So right now, because my battery died, I really, really have to go to Best Buy and get more batteries. Cause whenever I, whenever I take the phone's content and try to mix it in with the camera, it's a pain in to go through in the editor. So right now we are filling each one kind of making our way so we can go ahead and complete this. Well, look at this, guys. That's, got, that's a wide wheel for, for a Civic. And that's the dish. Nuts. But we're gonna go ahead and get, the, get these in and I'll get back to you once we get all these in because we still have an entire other wheel to do. All right, guys, so now we are, so now we are actually uh, headed, headed to a friend of his house so we can get some, some more of his stuff. Uh, we need to get uh, the torque wrench, we need to get uh, the sealant, and we get, need to get a wheel roller. 
Huh? Well, it's like, like a little wheel stand with rollers on it. Okay. Yeah. So so basically, we got we got we got to get the wheel stand has like rollers on, so it's a little easier to lay down the seal and stuff like that. But basically, um, there we 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 finished uh we finished putting uh the rest the rest of the hardware inside inside the wheel, and then we uh we snugged a couple of them down. So we're just heading out here to go to go get the extra supplies that we need. Apologize for the wind quality. My camera is actually charging right now, so basically pass the time, let that seal up for a little bit, and then headed to get the stuff, and then we will be headed back. All right, guys. All right, guys. So now we got um, all these guys uh, on, somewhat on there. Now we're about to go at it with a torque wrench. Start torquing all these all these guys down, and then get ready for the sealant part. Fun stuff. Just got this one all finished up and now it's time to do the lovely seal across all of them all right so now we got we got the tape we got the tape lines good so now we can actually go ahead and start applying the caulk to the inside and the outside of the face so we can get that sealant going but we got both wheels so we just got to finish up with this one and then got to do the other one and then we basically just let it sit So this was the after finish. We were able to take the tape off. A nice, clean, flat strip. Yes, I already know someone in the comments is gonna talk about my hands. I already know. It's whatever. <laughs> All right guys, so they are now finally sealed up. We just gotta let them wait for about, eh, 48 hours or so. But we were definitely in there. I'm definitely stoked on how they came out and got everything all nice up, torqued down and all that stuff. So that's basically going to be it for this vlog. Really hope you guys liked it. Yeah, so basically like I was saying that was th that was going to be the end of this vlog. Um, all we were doing was a uh was um, breaking apart the wheels, rebuilding them. It was a it was a learning process at the same time, so I get uh, more knowledge on what it, on what all it takes to rebuilding and stuff like that. So that was so that was definitely awesome. Um, but other than that, that basically wraps up this vlog. So the next vlog, we are going to be putting the tires on them, get a nasty little uh, tiny Sudani stretch thing going on. So we're going to put the tires on. And, um, we changed out the 8Ks, the 32K springs. We changed out my we uh, we changed out my steering wheel, and we put a S2K wheel in there, so it looks a lot nicer on the inside. And then now we are going to be having a fresh uh, setup in the rear. Now, as soon as I made the post on Facebook, I had a lot of people telling me or like, "Do the faces? Why aren't you going to Why aren't you going to powder coat or paint the faces?" Um, I'm actually going to uh, keep the faces how they are now because I guess uh, Nick was thinking that um, he. He, he, yeah, he thinks that they are uh, that they are uh, raw or whatever, so he doesn't think that they were painted or if they used to be powder coated or whatnot. But basically, he he thinks it's like a raw finish or whatever, like or whoever did it like sanded them down or something like that. So basically, um, what we're gonna be doing for uh, for the faces, um, we are eventually going to be uh, painting the engine bay here soon, and it's and I'm gonna be doing the same color as the faces. So I'm gonna do the engine bay and the faces at the same time. So be like right in right in time for simply clean at the end of this year so basically that's that's uh, what my plan is but i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog like comment subscribe do whatever you want to do and i will see you guys in the next vlog the next the next big vlog <laughs> all right you guys enjoy your weekend and you guys stay safe